Hello everybody, I'm Andy from Liminal Entertainment Technologies, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get the gallery view, the active speaker, and the screen share outputs in Zoom ISO out through NDI or Siphon, depending on how you have your system set up. So we've created a sample Zoom meeting, you see I have it in front of me here, where we have virtual users John, Jane, and Pat, and Zoom ISO has joined this meeting as well. We have a video where we show you how to get Zoom ISO to join a meeting, so you can check that out if you want to see how that works. So if you take a look at the, um, if you go to show all windows here and I show you the outputs on Zoom ISO, you'll see that with no outputs configured, we still have this main and the secondary window. Now the main window is gonna to correspond to whatever the Zoom window is behind you. So if I open up um, a new tech monitor here and I go and I look at um, the primary output, you'll see that that's my gallery view, right? So if I, if I put that off to the side, I shuffle things around a little bit, and I look at the monitor again, you'll see, okay, yeah, this is a copy of whatever is happening on this display here. So this would be my gallery view, or if I change it to the speaker view, it would be the speaker view. And you can see that it's it's always gonna look like um, whatever that view is displaying for you. So um, that's the simple way there is you look at your, your primary output inside of Zoom ISO, it's that main window, and that'll be whatever is routed to that output. Now, just like a normal Zoom client, you have the option of running this in multi-monitor mode. So if I go into the Zoom settings, so I go to my video settings here and I go up to general, use dual monitors is currently unchecked. But if I check that box, I get this additional floating window. And by default, this will be the active speaker. So if I go back to my new tech monitor and I go up to file and I change my source to be, instead of that, I change it to be my, um, my secondary. You'll see that uh, if I go back to the monitor here and I close out my settings window, that's the active speaker output. But if I change the active speaker inside of Zoom and we have someone else take over speaking, that view will change to the other source and now you see we have Jane coming on the secondary output. Now the other thing that the secondary output can do is when a screen share begins, the screen share will take over that display. So I'm gonna drag my secondary output to another monitor and I'm gonna go full screen on it. Inside of the Zoom ISO settings, I'm gonna to go to show all windows, I'm gonna grab my secondary and I'm just gonna say go full screen. And so now on my secondary display, the screen share is full screen. And then I'll go back to video monitor here. And if we start a screen share, you'll see that that display contains the shared screen output. And here's it, us on our website scrolling through. And if I go back to file and I go to Mac mini and I choose primary again, I have the gallery view. So the gallery view is maintained. And that can also go back to speaker view if I want. So again, it's all configurable and it's simultaneous. So you can choose which view you're looking at just by subscribing to a different NDI or siphon feed there. So now we'll be back on the screen share content at that point. And if we end the screen share, it'll go back to the active speaker view and we'll be back on the same map we were before. So again, through the combination of the main and secondary windows, you have the ability to get your gallery view, your speaker view, or your screen share content. And again, the benefit of that is that it stacks. So if I wanted to have two custom outputs where I had you know, John and Jane routed to outputs at the same time as being able to get the gallery view and the speaker view, I would totally be able to do that. I could go up here and again, on my available feeds, I have the secondary display, which I'm currently set to. I have my um, my primary output one, which would be uh, set to John there. So you have all these outputs simultaneously, which is one of the benefits of Zoom ISO other, over other offerings. So we hope that helps you get started. If you have any questions, feel free as always to send us an email at info at liminalet.com. Or you can check out the other videos on this channel. I might recommend taking a look at how we use NDI and Siphon so you can get a sense of how those custom outputs are put together. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.